A medical microbiologist at the Noguchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research is advocating a special scholarship for females in science, technology and engineering as well as mathematics. Dorothy Yabuameno suggests efforts to increase female enrollment in graduate programs have achieved little due to economic factors. She spoke at the launch of Women in Science, Technology and Engineering, Ghana. A report by the United Nations Education Council indicates only 35% of higher education students studying STEM subjects are women. At the corporate level, the numbers suffer more as only 26% of STEM workers are females. Professor Yabuamenu believes financial motivation is essential to whip up the interest of women in STEM. But we have one of, we are running one of the African centers of excellence in science at Nogon. And we are mandated to increase the intake of women at the graduate program. And it may be surprised you that we are trying to get a 50% as women. However, we recruit the girls and they are not able to come because of economic factors. And as a country, we don't seem to have special scholarships for girls. This must what? Must change. So what can Women in Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics is dedicating itself to nurturing women and girls to explore science and technology. Western GH offers programs and services to create a vibrant tool for STEM culture and development. Since its formation earlier this year, it has collaborated with Danida Alumni Ghana to run seminars for targeted groups in basic schools. The STEM camp for girls at KNUSD saw 80 SHS girls and 10 tutors from selected schools in attendance. Deputy Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation Patricia Apiaje says the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development will require a consistent effort to close the technological gap in the country. Technology and innovation must contribute to all three dimensions of sustainable development, that is economic, social, and environmental. Science, technology, and innovation policy framework would need to consider new societal challenges, consider broader concepts of innovation systems, deploy alternative approaches to innovation, and involve new actors such as STEM-oriented female. Director of Vodafone Enterprise Business Unit and Wholesale, Angela Mensapoku, emphasized the importance of women in STEM and its bearing on poverty alleviation. More female involvement in STEM is good for the economy. It means that you can contribute financially to making Ghana great. Increased female particip participation in STEM also means that you get better economic stability. Reporting for Joy News, Kwesi Deborah.